Hi! Hi, and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're here, it's probably your first time being here. Welcome. Welcome. <laughs> um, today, I wanted to talk about something that I've been struggling with for the past year, like few years. I think that it's a lot, something that a lot of artists also struggle with, and I feel like a lot of people don't know what exactly it is. I, like as to why they're struggling like I feel like it's something that I didn't know I was struggling with you know until my partner continuously was like Maya hey hey you're doing this you're doing this why are you doing this you should be doing this and he's an artist as well so I'm like I just wanted to come on here and talk about my personal experience and my personal feelings about things that I've been experiencing and I've experienced and I was just wanting to be let know, I guess, if anyone else had experienced these things or if I'm just crazy. <laughs> but, um, so I've been working on this comic. I've been working on my comic for about three years. I haven't published it anywhere. I haven't even, I don't even have a chapter completed. Uh, I don't have all my characters like planned out. I don't have all of them drawn. I don't have character sheets for all my characters. I don't have the magic system fully fleshed out. There's just a lot of things that I feel like I haven't done in this span of three years. And I feel like, I feel like a lot of people struggle with the same thing where, you know, you're told that it's procrastination. You're told that it's this, you're told that it's that, but you don't know why you're procrastinating. You don't know why you're Push, putting something important to you off for so long. So for three years, I was just like, oh, I'm just being lazy. I'm just procrastinating. I'm just doing this, which honestly, I can admit is probably, it plays some part in as to why I don't have everything together. But I feel like the biggest thing is just me latching on to my first everything having to be perfect. My characters have to be perfect. The dialogue has to be perfect. The panels have to be perfect. And this idea of perf perfection that I have for something that's my first, that something that was a passion project of mine has become such a tedious and straining thing to the point where I am procrastinating, to the point where I don't have, you know, I recently, just put panels down. I just recently started drawing actual panels for this this comic that I've been working on for years. And it's just like, I feel like a lot of us do that to ourselves, and especially being online and seeing all of these great artists and seeing all these great comic creators and all these manga creators and all these people doing really big, really grand, great things. And you thinking that your first has to be that level. It has to be that. And everyone, we all have to learn it's not. It does not have to be that. It can be your own thing. Make your own thing. Because my nine times out of ten, those same exact people started the same way you did. Just go. Just do it. And that's what a lot of these manga creators, a lot of these artists, everyone just did it. They just did it. All this, all these hours of researching and watching YouTube videos and going to Pinterest and collecting this and collecting that and researching and researching and going to TikTok and going to YouTube and researching and researching and researching. It's just like, it gets to the point where you're doing all this research and you're doing all this research and then it's like, you're you're psyching yourself out. You're psyching yourself out. You're like, I can't do this. I can't draw backgrounds. I can't do this. I can't do that. Just do it. Just draw the backgrounds as best as you can. Because at the end of the day, if you go back and you read the beginnings of Berserk, if you read the beginnings of Attack on Titan, Naruto, Bleach, a lot of the gr biggest, grandest, like, things that people say are very well drawn at the beginning they weren't as well drawn as they are like in present day so it's like comparing yourself to people who also you know started from somewhere 
they also like they all start it from somewhere We're all, we all start from somewhere and sitting there and saying you know you have to be at the end of your journey at the beginning is such a horrible outlook on art it's such a horrible outlook on creation and it stumps your creativity it stumps it like it's been so hard for me to think creatively and outside of the box because I'm like oh I can just go to Pinterest I can go to Pinterest and collect all the stuff I can go to TikTok and get all these ideas I can go to YouTube to get all these ideas like I feel like my creativity has been stumped and so I've been trying to not go to TikTok I've been trying not to go to Pinterest I've been trying not to look at YouTube for certain things because at the end of the day it's my creativity that should be being put in my story because it's my story it's no one else's um so yeah I was just wondering if anyone else had been struggling with like that sort of deal either like too because I've been struggling for years with just psyching myself out of doing what I'm supposed to be doing because I continuously research 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 I have to keep researching everything the amount of panels that have to be on a page the amount of pages that are supposed to be in a chapter like it's just super like hyper focused on every single minute detail of my first comic my first one I've never made one before like and just to be doing that for something that's supposed to be a passion it's supposed to be a passion project and it hasn't been really like a passion you know until recently it's just like it's been something that's dawning in the back of my head like oh I have to work on that ugh I have to go work on that ugh it's just like there is no passion behind it and I want to bring my passion back I'm gonna bring my passion back to doing it I'm gonna have fun doing art again because it just feels like it hasn't been fun and so I'm pushing through and I'm just saying if anyone else is going through this if anyone else is having like this struggle with balancing out you know research and balancing out what you're actually doing and putting on paper just push just push through it just keep going you don't have to look up everything because nine times out of ten the people that you look up to most they did not they did not look up every single minute thing you'll be okay it's okay to make a couple of mistakes it's the beginning it's not the end so don't let it be the end just keep going and I have to keep telling myself that that's literally like my motto that I keep saying also if you hear any background noise it's my two cats they're the cutest they're the bestest they're amazing okay my two baby kittens anyways going back to what I was talking about <laughs> um in the background you can probably see that I'm working on my comic I'm working on paneling and I'm doing all of that in Clip Studio. I love Clip Studio because they have like formats and uh, templates you can use for comics. And at first I was like, I can't do that. I can't use a template. I could never do that. You can do that. Use a template, you know, <laughs> use a template. You'll be okay. Um, so I've been using the templates and these are sketches. These are not final drawings at all. You could probably tell, but yeah, they are just sketches. And I feel so proud of myself for just doing this. I'm so proud of myself for pushing through to just do this. It's not a lot. It's seven pages. But I'm, you know, for the first time in three years, I'm actually paneling my comic and my creation. And it's so crazy to go from, you know, two years ago when I was sitting there and I was like, oh, I don't know if I can do this. There's so much. I have to learn this. I have to learn that. I have to learn this. I have to learn that. I have to learn this. I'm already an artist, but I still felt like I had to learn so much more before I could do what I wanted to do. I didn't. I could have started then, and I should have started then. And if you're telling yourself that you can't start something now, start it. You can do it. You can do it now. Do it now. It's better now than never. And again, it's just the beginning. There's so many things and so many stories that have become so much more after the beginning you know I honestly when I read books read comics read mangas whatever the first few chapters I'm not gonna lie a lot of the times they're snooze fests 
or they're because they're they're just establishing everything so it's just like okay 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 for me for manga slash comics i if i'm not interested by the fifth chapter then i put it down so that's kind of the key of thumb that i've been giving myself you know i'm gonna make the most interesting first five chapters i possibly can but at the end of the day it's establishing you're establishing things it's no need to sweat not everything has to be perfect dialogue does not have to be perfect nothing has to be perfect so i think that's just a sentiment that we all need to go by everything doesn't have to be perfect go do it do what you need to do okay <laughs> so that was the end of my rant my my little vent about my struggles and things that I've been facing with my creation, my creativity, my art, and um, I'm genuinely curious if anyone else is going through this. If you've made it to the end of this video, thank you. Love you. <laughs> and if you are having a similar struggle to mine, I would like you to place a comment in the comment section and let me know what exactly it is you're going through like what you're doing and what your struggle is personally with whatever you are doing i think it's really interesting and especially i would love to branch together in the community i have been a part of the art community for so long and it'd be so amazing to actually interact with other people in the community anyways that's the end of my video thank you for sticking it out this long <laughs> um if you did make it this far it'd be nice if you could like if you could subscribe and i'll see you later i'll see you next time so bye toodles